Gamers get Gears 5 in their hands, and the response has been shocking. How does this jive with the quote unquote litmus currently out there of the game, which is Metacritic, of course? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Can you do me a huge favor? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, rock the bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because, like I always tell you, I am not too proud to ask. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. But you know what? Before we get into it, I urge you that immediately after this video, Go look for my video, my impromptu um, uh, podcast that I did. It's called Xbox Game Pass, my thoughts on it being a value. I think I critically hit some points home that I need my Xbox brethren to listen to in conjunction to these jewels that I'm about to drop here, right? Because I think we need an awakening in the community, do some good things happening, but we definitely need to get out of a certain mind state so we can help make the Xbox band brand better. With that being said, enough of the babble. Let's get into the story here. What is the story? Well, let's first do the checkup. You know how I do it. I do the checkup of the story. I do the analysis and then we give the prescription. Okay, first with the checkup. Now, Xbox has been criticized for his first party lineup. And if you've been under a rock, you may have missed it. But the rest of us, we know the deal. You know Xbox has no games, right? They don't have what have been critically acclaimed AAA bangers outside of Forza under their belt this gen as far as super high Metacritics are concerned. So for perception purposes, Xbox gamers hoped that Gears 5 would break that cycle. And it hasn't, unfortunately, with a Metacritic score of 86. Now that gamers have the game in their hands, however, how does that score jive with their reception? And does this score even still matter in the eyes of gamers, okay? So let's talk about this one, you know. Now first, with the analysis, okay? Um, gamers are getting the games in their hands exclusively, or courtesy, rather, of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Um, the game officially doesn't release until the 10th, and at the time of this re recording, which is not the 10th of September 2019 yet, um, gamers have played a lot of hours, put a lot of time into it, and they have a lot to say. And with that being said, I'm seeing nothing but glowing praises of the game. The greatest gears, this. Best campaign, yet that. Most robust multiplayer in this regard. These even, even coming from likely source, unlikely sources on Twitter. You had my homie NextGen720 say that he feels at the time of this recording that Gears is the best looking game, period, on console this generation, all right? You also had people that are PlayStation enthusiasts as far as console gaming is concerned, like my homeboy, Paris Lilly of Gamertag Radio, right? He said that this is the best Gears campaign yet in he can't wait to drop his review. I mean, you just got glowing praises all over the place and not from the sources that you expect. Everyone is loving this game. Now, at the time of this recording, I have not tried it yet. There's a good reason. There's a little small game by the name of Ghost Recon Breakpoint that I've been putting my, all of my time into and we'll get into that in a later video. But from what I've seen and what I've played of the beta and the gamer reaction that I'm witnessing, this seems to be a stellar Gears 5 and one that heavily outdoes 4. So it does make the Metacritic score suspect, all right? But guess what? Who cares? All right, as part of my prescription, I just wanna say this. I just wanna give you these doses. Who cares? Here's the thing. All of you hurt over the meta, still refreshing it every five minutes to this date. To see if it's gonna go up, understand this. First and foremost, meta is a collection of pundit thoughts, all right? These pundits have short attention spans, so they only have the bandwidth to appreciate stuff of recent memory. And they wanted to duplicate itself over and over again, those things that they've liked of recent memory nauseum they want to du duplicate it so now if it's a triple a western sequel it must um uh um 
and when I say Western, I mean Western developed sequel. It must be totally redone and be story heavy like God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2. The new craze though, if it's not a Western developed game, is the reemergence of Japanese developed titles. These now get graded on a curve. You know what I'm saying? Anything else, good luck. You'll likely hang in the sevens, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or the seventies. So the fact under this whole litmus, this new current litmus, this new current climate that we're in, the fact that Gears is hanging at an 86 or an 85 under these standards is amazing. So in closing, just enjoy the damn game. You don't need anyone else to validate your choices. If you're looking for help on games, you are on the fence about, because of finances or whatever, find a content creator or specific reviewer with the same damn taste. Do not live and die off a bogus aggregate of top thinking pundits, period. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always tell you, who cares what I think, damn it? But if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard, baby. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples, Neethals, Snow Bunny, Dirt Griggity. It's called Scrampunks. We air it every Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, I'm sorry. Woo. Way off on that one. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Wednesday on Dirt Griggity's channel. Just look up hashtag Scrampunks for more information on that. Last but not least, check out my brethren, the broadband bullies. We out here doing the damn thing. Check out the Discord. Check out that Patreon because we need your support. Check out that link to that gear because it's what? Fly. And, oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, last but not least, check your boy out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture where we highlight hardcore gaming, hardcore anime, hardcore martial arts, just hardcore, 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 baby. Check me out on twitch.tv forward slash mightymost2000 or hndc.live, okay? And with that being said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace. Enjoy Gears 5, damn it.